special guest. I know you're looking for me. It ain't going to happen today because the room is filled with such talent in the room. We got all the way from parts unknown because <laughs> each one comes from a different part of the Carolinas. And some of you recognize Miss Wanda from uh, Mama's Table yes. and, and Guest and Lorraine from, she's been on uh, Alan Presley several times. Alan, if you're watching this, I did give you a plot. And then we got Miss, Miss Rita in here today and we are so blessed to have the Carolina girls in here in our studio. This is the very time, first time that we've had a live musical group in the studio for performing besides one of the radio DJs or anything. So sit back, go get your beverage, which one you're going to be drinking, some hot tea, coffee, soda, whatever it may be. Sit back because enjoy the Carolina Girls live on the Chuck Bryant Show, Unplugged. And later on, we'll have the second part of this afternoon where we get really down and ask the real hard questions. And I've already told, been told no hard questions. So anyway, <laughs> hey, we'll be we'll be back. We're going to take a little short break after they get done singing to where we can get the rest of the studio set up. And uh, hey, guys, let's get going. I heard an old, old story How a Savior came from glory How he saved his life on Calvary To save a wretch like me I heard about his groaning On his precious blood such only And I repented of my sin won the victory oh victory in jesus my savior forever he sought me and he wants me with his redeeming blood he loved me ere i knew him and all my love is due of gold beyond the crystal sea about the angels singing and the old redemption story and some sweet day I'll sing of it the song of victory oh victory in Jesus my Savior Yes. 
for me. I know. I know. I'm unworthy of them all. But his blessings he freely gives. I owe my life to him. I've got so much to thank him for. this invitation here by our brother Chuck to come by here. Um, this is our debut of singing with the Carolina girls. The Lord just put us together somehow, much to our surprise. But we're going to sing y'all a few tunes, some old tunes, and we hope that y'all enjoy it. We hope y'all are enjoying your evening out there in the Lord. Hope these next few minutes will be a blessing for you. God is so good. He's so worthy to be praised today. We're glad that we're here to praise Him. Oh 
South Carolina and have a part-time home in Burnsville, North Carolina. So it wasn't quite so far to be here today with Brother Chuck. My husband's here with us helping us get this equipment in and out. His name's Donnie Howard. We're glad to be here. Been singing for the Lord since I was four. Got saved when I was eight. Uh, my mama was our church pianist and I praise God that for that upbringing. I wouldn't take anything for it. Don't know where I would be today had my mama brought, not brought me up in church. So any of you out there listening, I pray that y'all are that uh, example in your home and family, just as my mama was. Miss Wanda? Hello, I'm Wanda, and it is so wonderful to be here with you. I'm going to wait and um, answer all of Chuck's questions later, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and you are from? I'm from Florence, South Carolina. Here we go. And I'm Rita Broyles, and um, actually I've been singing since very young girl, too, and have a ministry for the Lord and have traveled the road many days, many years, and thankful for it that God has led me in that direction. I actually live in, in uh, Salisbury, North Carolina right now. I was born in South Carolina and raised in uh, around Charlotte area in North Carolina. So I am a Carolina girl from both <laughs> states, I guess you would say. I don't know if either one of them claim me or not, but <laughs> we're just... Tickled to death to be here today and thankful to be singing the songs of the Lord and hope somebody out there is going to receive a blessing. Thank you. All right. This next song is called Without Him. I've been singing this since I was a little girl and probably anybody that sings has as well. But um, without the Lord, we'd be nothing here today. Amen. Don't know where I'd be today without the Lord. I could have took a wrong turn. I could have been that one in those prison bars I could have been that one addicted to drugs or alcohol I could have already been dead but with Jesus I'm everything today nothing of myself but one that serves our Savior
that you're doing but he's keeping a tally of every one one of these days we'll all lay the works that we've done the things that we've done down at his feet where he's the one that's worthy today Amen. amazing grace y'all sing right there at home from your computers sing along right with us
is we're going to bow down and worship our Lord and Savior. We're going to praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. Turn it back over to you now. <laughs> he says we're not done yet. Hey, I'd like to give the opportunity to Pastor, I mean, Bishop Shane Calhoun for letting us have this opportunity here. He is tuning in. And uh, something just touched me about singing that song, and I think that there's somebody out there right now that may be yeah. listening and going through something. And uh, I think that we ought to sing that song just one more yeah. time, can we? Amen. 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 always there and always ready to listen to his children so if you don't know him today right now you can know him just ask the Lord to come into your heart receive him today confess your sins and be saved today is the day of salvation God. 
Guys, tune back in here in just a little bit, and we're going to have the second part of the Chuck Bryant Show because we have to get down and get those hard questions. <laughs> Wanda told you she's going to be answering them. Uh, it's b bad enough that we had to put them in the bright light <laughs> where they're sweating at. You know, the big cameras here at the WOTG and FWC Studios here in Cleveland, Tennessee. And again, we'd like to give the opportunity to the church that we're in for allowing us to be able to have such a great opportunity to do this. And we're going to sign off for right now. We're going to be back in about 10 minutes because we've got to tear the studio back apart and get everything set up. So we'll be watching you all in just a few minutes here on the Chuck Bryant Show Unplugged on a very special edition. Thanks, and we'll be right back. Come on back. Uh, <laughs> live coming from the W, uh, the Family Worship Center here in Cleveland. I, see, I told you that's the reason we're doing this. Way. I don't have to edit things. Guys, it is such a great opportunity to have you three ladies in here. I have been uh, talking with Miss Wanda for almost, uh, what, oh, two, two or three years now. Miss Lorraine, we have been in, in concerts together, and I think from Kentucky Kentucky and, and uh, down in South Carolina Sumter. and South Carolina and mm -hmm. didn't we do something at Pastor Randy's were you at Pastor Randy's back in 2019 or 2018 no it's it, it listen a lot of this stuff has been going because I haven't been out you know doing the the tour like y'all have y'all ladies are out there and I want to give a uh, tip my hat to you that what y'all do and how y'all do it and everything else is amazing how you can get together and go out and sing and and do things y'all brought the carolinas to girl each one of y'all have an individual singing career of your own and you know we got the most talented lady here she sits behind the microphone with her sister and they do talk with mama mm. and what a great show it is and it airs on all of our tv networks and you know it's amazing to say all the tv networks because we're highly blessed and and we've had Miss L Miss Lorraine has been playing on the WOTG TV and WGHC TV for a while with her videos and she didn't even know that. Ooh. Did you know that? I knew it. I know you know because you've been watching. <laughs> and but it, it's so great to have y'all here. And uh, tonight you're going down to Allen Presley, which is on our WOTG uh, West program. And you think that I'm gonna ask the hard questions? <laughs> he's going to have his belly full and he'll forget it. He'll say, where are we at? Linda, I got to go take a nap. You take care of the rest of this. <laughs> and if Brother Allen's watching, hey, how you doing? Guys, it's so great. So y'all got together and made the Carolina Girls. Tell us a little bit about <laughs> this. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> we have to blame Allen for that, too. Yes, we do. Called? We do. Yes. How that came about. Well, um, you know, I've been to Alan's show several times, mm -hmm. and um, I introduced Alan to um, these th these two ladies and another friend of mine that's seen. And um, so he's like, Lorraine, you know all these people that's doing all this singing. And so sometime a year or so ago, I teased and said, well, I'm going to see if I can get those singers, and we're going to come see you and be on your program. Well, that just kind of left my mind. Well, Miss Lady Linda, she said something about two months ago, and she said they might think that I've forgotten this, but I've not forgotten it. She's supposed to bring Wanda Gray and Smith, Wanda Gray Smith, and Rita Brawls with her up to our house and be on our program. And we have just bought a home in Burnsville, North Carolina, uh, last year. And, um, and so we're not too far away. And I got to thinking, well, maybe these girls will come sp stay with me for a weekend in the mountains, and we can go up and see them. And, and tomorrow's his birthday, so what an appropriate time to, to go up and see Brother Allen. So that has come to pass, and they have been talking about it on that show. And Thomas Lilly, our friend that's, uh, that tunes in every night that sings too, he's said, Oh, yeah, the Carolina girls, they're going up to see you. <laughs> and so that's how our name came about. We had a name before we even became a group. <laughs> <laughs> before well, we even knew it. <laughs> yes. Well, you know, what was so funny is that Alan, we were, I was talking to Alan the next morning, and Alan said, you ain't going to believe who I've got. And, you know, Alan, he gets, he gets super excited when he gets somebody 
being famous comes to his, <laughs> his uh, or that, and I said, hold on just a second, the Carolina girl, and he kept going, and I'm going to tell you right now, he, you know, I'm new to all this gospel stuff, I mean, I've been doing this for five years now, I came from Florida, and uh, I mean, the biggest person that I met in my career was Ronnie Henson, and, and, and Ronnie, don't take this offense, I didn't know who he was. I'll be honest with you. I did I not. Do. I did not know. I did not know the Hensons because when we started this radio station way back in 2014 and started putting it together, the only gospel I had seven CDs that I had had for almost a ton of years, and the biggest part of them was Jonathan Bond, and that tells you anything because I've known Jonathan since high school, and I've known Jonathan from around here, and I didn't know who he was anybody else so I go to Jonathan I said hey is there anybody else started getting on the internet so I know uh, Greg Witt had a Mayus Road Quartet Timmy Witt had his group well, I went to school with Timmy and Greg so I know those guys and I'm just like okay well, well Lord bless me and then we got a big trip and I went out west went out to Oklahoma and spent some time out there with Ken Turner and Servant or Severance Call or something I get these names confused. Everybody's <laughs> got a name here and there, and I just, hey, how you doing? But anyway, I went out there, and I met some really great groups. And we, went, we got groups from Texas and everything else. And then I went to another, uh, I was getting ready that year to go to this uh, festival. And there was a guy by the name of Dusty Alamon. And if you ever get to meet Dusty, if you ever get to him, he is one of the top artists there is out there. And Dusty says, hey, let me introduce you to everybody at this festival. And I go, okay. So I went up to Tampa when we lived in Florida. went up to Tampa to the Cowboy uh, Roundup. With, mm. And so I got to meet I got to meet some great people there. And then another one spun off with uh, Richard Kaiser. And then I got to go meet Charlie McCoy. And it was just like a domino effect. And it just kept building and building and building and building. And that's where we're at now. And now here comes the hard questions. And mm -hmm. before you come, come on a question, you were also at the ICCAN network when I was there in Kentucky year before last. Yes, so I was. that was another place we were together. Yeah, and you know, in having the opportunity to work with Jan Harbuck and yeah. work with the people out in Oklahoma and work with the people up in Ohio, and so it's it's a great blessing because to me. Um, this little boy that didn't know anything about doing this. I'm a computer technician by trade, as you can tell. <laughs> and I don't know the first thing. It's like I was telling somebody here while uh, here the other day, I am not a sound guy. I, if it sounds good to me and it sounds good to you, we're ready to rock and roll. <laughs> and, uh, well, we know that Jesus is going to be rolling those potatoes, as we could heard as y'all were coming in. But it's so great, again, to have y'all here and have the opportunity of the Carolina girls. And each one of y'all has your own different... Uh, ministry. I just got to meet Miss Rita this morning and, and and hear her sing and hear y'all sing the harmony that y'all sung together today was a very blessing. And every song, I mean, I didn't show the tear, you know, I had to get it. You know, I'm a big guy here. I had, <laughs> I had to turn my head. And, but but I, I was very touched by each and every one of the songs that you sung. And it was just like when you were singing Amazing Grace, God touched me and said somebody out there needed to hear that again. Because if the if the history knows in the song Amazing Grace, you, you know, it went through a time in history that, you know, we don't want to talk about it, something there. But it was, it was written in a time when we were at the darkest part of America. And it was amazing what God could do with this song and how it is embraced us as a nation and think that we have that and every time that it's sung they should stop and think it was like i was telling my wife at the declaration of independence there was a video out there on facebook that tells the story of the stall stingle banner and it, it talked about how francis scott key was on the ship and they were telling us and they was prisoners down and, and if they would just give up the fort they'd let the prisoners come to shore well, that night, the flag stood there, and we all know about the Stall Spangled Banner song, but they was wondering why that song or why that flag was still standing. And Francis Scott said, there's no way that had been bomb, bomb, bomb. But a song like that and go in and you see what happened, the people that paid the price for that flag. 
there was bodies stacked up, mothers, grandfathers, grandmothers, aunts and uncles, while holding that flag as that flag stood just like that. And, you know, we just got done celebrating the 4th of July. Mm -hmm. And here y'all are, uh, 12 days later, here in the WOTG, WGHC, and the FWC studios, and we (laughs) thank y'all so much. So what is the scenes behind the scenes of getting you three together? <laughs> oh my! Wow. We do have tissues, so if this is such a hard question, <laughs> well, we just decided that we might. Brother Allen would probably enjoy some live music on his show, and so, needless to say, we decided that maybe we should do a little singing live music on his show. And that, therefore, started a trio. (laughs) Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I love trios. I always have. One of my favorite trios has been, uh, and you're listening, guys, I have never been able to interview Gold City. And that is the last group out of my seven years that I haven't got to interview. Mm -hmm. I've met with the McCameys. That was one of my favorites. I've met with uh, the Freemans. That was another one As, as outside of gospel music. Those were the people that I liked the most. And when I get in here and we start talking and we start seeing each other at concerts, it becomes family. And Wanda, you know, and Lorraine, you know of what's gone on in the last two years in my life and with my wife and with myself. And it's been hard, I'll be honest with you, to keep on doing what God wants you to do. But, you know, he told me three months ago when I was sitting sitting at the bed, he said, remember, the cross and he says you get three cuts on your arm and I got them right up here one here one here and one there and he said remember the nails and I said well you know what I'm not a big wimp anymore and I shed those tears but the traveling on the road and I know you're everywhere I mean you you've been to Kentucky you've been to Alabama you've been to South Carolina have you been down to Louisiana too I am going this season I'm going in the fall and I can't hardly wait Bon. To the ICCAN, yeah. Well, I got, I got. Are t- you going? I, I, I wished I could. I wish I will could. Um, brother, brother Hunter Logan's going to be there with his radio station, and uh, he does a really great job. So he's he's taking over there. So we'll let him take care of that next year. Who knows what's going to happen? Because I plan on after all this is said and done, with my uh, shoulder and stuff. I'm going to get back out there, and I'm going to bring the network. I'm going to bring the TV network and oh, stuff. Oh, good. So, well, put, let WOTG sit here. We're going to bring WGHC and uh, WOTG and other ones together. So, you know, you might catch me in Branson. You might catch me down in Texas. You may catch mm. me in Oklahoma. Nice. You might even catch me in Michigan. You may catch me in Ohio. No telling where I'm going to be. The Lord needs to send you a helicopter. <laughs> well, you, you, you know, I used to make all these posts when I was on, I was on uh, when I used to run my computer company. And a good friend of mine said, he says, Chuck, how can you be in Chattanooga and you just left, you just left New Orleans? I said, man, that's a lot of things you can do when you just hit Facebook. <laughs> but Miss Wonder, what junk, what do you got coming up on the, the horizon? Oh wow! Well, tell her I said hey. We and hey Jeannie, Chuck said hey. <laughs> <laughs> and hey Jeannie, <laughs> we really enjoy your program. You. We've got Thank some great. Uh, well, you know how funny this is. Is I've been looking for podcasts. I'm not. I'm not the other uh, Roku channels out there. I think that if you've got a podcast and it's great, we've got some young girls coming all the way out from Branson that we're airing that had a podcast. And they're just sitting there and they talked to Miss America a couple weeks ago. And I reached out to them. And it come across, and I think he did it on purpose, I'm not for sure. But anyway, posted it on Facebook. And I came across it and I was sitting there the very first episode and I contacted you and said, we gotta we gotta run this and i've enjoyed every moment of it and uh and we've got all your baths that barry baths made the videos for you yeah 
Barry, Barry, give me some of the videos. And Barry, if you're watching this, hey, brother. Um, he give us your videos. So we've been airing those. Okay. And so at late at night, we like to run the videos. And the people go, hey, it's great. You know, we're doing that. And uh, the Diddy sisters just joined us um, a couple of nights ago. The Diddy. Daddy. Uh, Daddy sisters. D E T D E T T Y. Daddy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll get it correct one day. Don't hold my Louisiana voice <laughs> up. Okay now. I was just making sure that was who you were yeah. talking about. Um those girls are awesome. They are. And uh their uncle has been my produ has been my producer for ten years, I guess. Right. And he was a recent Rita's producer as well. Oh well. Mm -hmm. Well I know Papa. Papa? I know their papa. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know Amber's daddy. <laughs> okay, now I don't know him. Rick Rohr. I know Rick's a good friend of mine. But anyway, so it's great. Now, we've asked you the hard questions. <laughs> we've asked Miss Wanda the hard question. Oh, now it's Miss Rita's me turn. On the hot seat. Yes. That's it. Well, that's the reason I give you the nice comfortable <laughs> seat. Got and the I said, ejector button on it. It could so. have. <laughs> okay. Miss Rita, tell us a little bit about you and your ministry. Well, I have done it for many years. Uh, very young, started. And uh, just uh, over the years, God has really blessed. I have been able to travel the road and as a solo artist. And, you know, I've tried through the years to work with groups or to make a group of my own because I love groups and I love group harmony. But the Lord just didn't bless that. And every time it just didn't work out, you know, it's one thing if you can find people that are talented and can work in a group and do all the things that a group needs to have done but it's another thing if your heart is in the right place and your life is in order i don't care to be a part of something that they're going to go and party on saturday night at some bar or whatever and then want to go sing in a church with me on sunday so that was not my thing i fought that for a lot of years and People can put on a false front sometimes, you know. Mm -hmm. And so I went through a lot of that, and I decided, well, Lord, I guess it's me and you. <laughs> and as long as I got him, that's all I need anyway. But um, it's it's a great, great ministry for him. I love doing it. My heart has been in it since very young. But um, I've always wanted to travel with a group environment. And God just hasn't opened that door yet. So... We'll see what he has in store. This last year or so since COVID hit, uh, it's been a very tough year for me. I lost my husband um, last year, and um, we lived in Texas. You mentioned Texas a bit ago, that you traveled in there, and we lived out there for like three and a half years due to his job. Mm -hmm. So I was writing. I have um, four CDs that God has allowed me to do. And thank, and, you. Uh, and thank you for the CDs. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. And uh, books that while I was there in Texas, I couldn't travel and sing like I did back here, you know, was was uh, booked a lot. But out there, there was really no place for the Southern Gospel. And uh, it was mostly contemporary in the area where I was. Well, so I'll, tell you was right, I'll tell you right now. If you make it back down to Texas, you let me know when you go. Okay. I've got a very good friend that runs a, well, matter of fact, i got three good friends that are down there, but i got one that runs a Pastor Mario Romos, which if you followed the network at any time, you've seen Pastor Mario come on and do a thing on WOTG or any of the networks. Um, but his name is uh, Pastor J.R. Uh, Franklin, and he runs the Biker Church in Wiley, Texas. Okay. And I'm going to tell you right now, he's he's had uh, Miss Pam on there quite a few times. I can't remember what Miss Pam's last name is, but she's a really good artist, and she's been in Pastor Jr.'s church quite a few. So, Jr., if you know these three ladies and you'd like them to come by your church, just give me a shout, and I'll hook you up with all three <laughs> of them. So, are y'all y'all going out tonight to go over to Allen's and he's going to be asking you the really hard questions. I think Miss Linda will be though the most. <laughs> and uh, but what's next after tonight? Where y'all where y'all going from there? Well, where I live in North Carolina in the mountains, there's a, a Laurel Branch Baptist Church right out. I can walk out my yard and go into theirs. And so they've invited us to come over on Sunday morning and sing the specials and then we're doing a full concert that evening um 
outdoors at their church at 7 o'clock on Sunday night. Awesome. So unless the Lord opens some more doors. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you right now, y'all, two, you three need to get together and put out a CD because I think the <laughs> harmony together. How many female quartets are there? Ooh. Quartets? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just, That's a hard question. <laughs> just saying, just saying. I mean, are y'all ready to be booked and get on the road? I would love it. Better yet, we'll, Please, have to, yeah. we'll have to ask the bus driver behind you if he's ready to be traveling. Well, he's already going out to Louisiana. <laughs> he's, he's going to Louisiana for the ICANN network this fall, and, and so... That'll be halfway across the country almost, right, Chuck? <laughs> well, you, we you, had to you, hog time to I come do, here today. I do have ties to Louisiana because I'm from St. Bernard Parish, from down the road. And uh, Jennings is here. I'm down below New Orleans. And so I do have ties. I grew up the biggest part of my life down in Louisiana, right down from the French Quarter. And listening to jazz was one of my greatest things when oh, I was a yeah. teenager. I love jazz. Yeah. And uh, when you can when you can sit down there and you could hear Fats Domino playing on the piano, one of the I stayed in Jackson Square because at that time I was not of age to be down that way, and I would listen to uh, Pete Fountain, which both of those artists are gone to be with the Lord now, and some other greats down there. And you don't have to be a big time jazz lover to go down to new orleans and hear just sit out in jackson square you can hear somebody singing or playing or something like that it just the music down there is just great uh but then you got to be careful places that you don't want to go because it can ruin your christian uh, <laughs> what were you doing over there i don't know but anyway um so you know i didn't want to keep you ladies too late because i know that y'all got to you know, get over to Alan's because Alan's probably hungry since you told him that. <laughs> but anything else that y'all would, I, I tell you what, Miss Wanda asked me the hard questions. <laughs> what do you see next, um, Chuck? What I see next for this for this yes, network? What are you doing next? We are in the plans, and I'm glad you asked that, is that we're in the plans of doing something real big. Starting next year, um, if any of y'all knew who Gunner Carr was, Gunner Carr was an old uh, outlaw biker that carried a guitar on his back, and he called. He wrote a song called Sunday Morning. Now, I could be wrong about that, but he sung the song Sunday Morning. And I got a chance to meet Gunner Carr one time when I was all the way up at Branson at one of the G GMAs and uh, back in 2017, and I got to sit down with him. I got to speak with him on the phone quite a few times. And Gunner was just a sweet, come out of Texas and, and, and stuff. Have you heard of Gunner Carr? No, I didn't. Okay. And uh, Gunner was from Texas, and his uh, wife, his good friends, was Pastor JR. And uh, so we're planning next year to do a big four time uh, concert series, one in Texas, one in Durango somewhere, so you know where Durango comes in at. We're going to do one here, and we're going to do one in Branson. Wow. And so it it's not going to happen this year. If it happens next year, because we want to make sure COVID is over, we're in the planning stages, and this is going to be something big because we're bringing the networks involved in the TV networks, and we're probably going to have higher some type of TV crew if we don't have the equipment by then. And so the nights that we we turn on the camera, it's going to be aired on TV. And it'll be just like, and we've got some other things that's in the plans that I can't say, but I will tell you this, and I will give a plug out to my partner, Mr. Marty Smith. Marty's got a new program that's called the Nashville Now, and it oh. will be coming to the WOTG TV, Branson Gospel TV, and uh, WGHC TV. Yes. And we'll really have, Bev McCam's got a cooking show, Jim Shelton's got his program on there, and we're going to get some positive thoughts from the positive cowboy himself. And it's just great to what God has rolled out. And, oh, let me tell you something. This, this roller coaster ride happened last year when I was sitting down, and I've been praying. I've been looking for something like this 
and having the opportunity because in Florida, if you've been you followed me when I was in Florida, I had a studio, and in the studio that we had down there, we had appointed two come in, Randy and Amy Nichols, and we had the deans. And when the deans came to town, you know, they were looking for us. We didn't even know, I didn't even know Tony and Tina Dean at all. And you want to talk about good friends, they are. And I used to say little Noah Dean because he, he did the Battle Cry song when Noah was so tall, not to, Noah was almost as tall as his dad. And they're great people. And the fans that we have met from Florida and all the way up here have been just great and stuff so the hard question is what's next only god knows because i wake up i wake up one morning and god said i want you to do this and i would have never have dreamed of having y'all in the studio i would have never dreamed of it and 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 god just keeps with with this uh production when i first started it we were going to do just preaching and it's been opening up, and I was going to do the radio show because you can see the banners in the background. And it has just opened up. And available, though. Oh, and, and, you know, I made, I made a comment, Wanda, about two weeks ago, uh, three weeks ago, and I said, God, I'm tired of sitting at home. I am. I'm tired of sitting at home. <laughs> and uh, Donna's, Donna, you know, if Donna needs me, I'm out of here. I'm home as quickly as possible but god has opened up doors for us to be able to do what we're doing um i'm a i'm a full-time caregiver for my wife so i can't leave out of town like the big trips that i want but god tell me it's coming and we're planning to move to tennessee here just shortly somewhere around this area where we can be close to the church and uh it's just amazing that the doors that god has opened and it just keeps growing and you know the 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 things that i say is that if god wants you to do something he's going to find a way for you to do it and that's all i can say because i tell you right now i never planned on doing this ministry i never planned on doing radio but when you asked him will he take care of your granddaughter and back in 2013 well all the way back to 2010 god said hey, let's create a radio station and i go okay lord sure we'll do it got to come back and you know i thought that and i know he knows all but i thought well if we do this he'll forget about it four years later my granddaughter that is aj and if you see my facebook page you can see me she they came to see us last month and one of the biggest things was is that little girl almost died from c camps and c camps is a cancer that you get that a teenager will get later on in life well, they've got it, the technology now to where they can actually go in and find it with all the cams and all the ultrasounds and everything else. If they can look on Mars, I guarantee they can find something in you. That if they can catch it quick enough, they can get rid of it. And she wasn't even out of the womb yet, and they had already found out that she had sea cams. And so they were able to do the surgery six months while her lungs were developing and they went in and they did a lung transplant or not a lung transplant but they went in and cut pieces out of her lungs on both sides to where this would not wherever the tumor was and got rid of it oh, wow. and let me tell you something eight years old and she's already messaged me twice on chit or uh snapchat where we can play a game together and she's a blessing and 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 during the pandemic I picked up three more grandkids. And so I got <laughs> Sophie. Yeah. Uh, you know, you went from one for all these years and then God said, Let's let's get hurry up and get this up to where you got some time on your when you don't have time to work in. I'm telling you, and Sophie and uh Colton and uh little Miss Alvira is uh and then my son's gonna get me on that because her name is Leith. Leith. Oh man, I can't I can't believe I messed this up. But anyway, uh, her middle name's Elvira, and so she is such a little adorable. Get on the phone, get to do chit chats with her every week. So that's what's been going on with me for the last year, and we're so ex excited about your program coming up because we're we're fixing to hit the ninth week of this. This has been going on since May that we started this, and so we're excited. It's almost like middle of the season for TV series. You, you know, so we're you, on every Tuesday night and every Thursday night. That's correct. Eastern time. 
That's it. And if you're well, if you're if if you're if you're in Central Time, that means at when we say eight o'clock, that's seven o'clock y'all's time. And then if you keep on that's going right. down, so you just keep <laughs> following. So if you want to do it, but anyway, it's been so great to have y'all in the studios, Miss Rowling. What's coming up with you in the next little bit? I was just sharing with the girls that um well, first off, I've, I've I'm just releasing a, a CD of my latest album, um, at, with Heart Song um, Ministry, um, and that uh, that's coming out now. But um, I've been working on a children's album, and I want it to be an audio book. Um, I've got a story and songs with it. It's fun. And I let them listen to some of the songs, and, and uh, it's just so uplifting. And so I've got to get that accomplished with the good Lord's help, and I sure could use an illustrator. <laughs> 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 Any illustrators out there that would give me a good deal? <laughs> Alan Presley. <laughs> uh, I'm sure that if we're out there, get a hold of me at WOTG uh, Radio and hit us up there. And Lorraine is looking for a illustrator. I'm sure we can help you out. That'd be something good for Pastor Jr. to do. I could see that happening now. But anyway, it's been such a great honor. And uh, guys, if you've been watching us here on uh, the Chuck Bright Show Unplugged, we have the, uh, I started to say the Florida girls, the Carolina, <laughs> Carolina girls, girls. <laughs> and uh, at the next tour will be Florida. <laughs> After the Georgia girls are done, they're going to Alabama to be the Alabama girls. And they're all going down to Louisiana, and we're going to hit the hayride. It's the Louisiana girls. But anyway. So, oh, and Texas is around. Oh. We'll go through Mississippi. It's the Mississippi girls, and we get into Texas, Oklahoma. We're just going to have to say the Western girls. But anyway, uh, it's been such a great to have y'all here. Thank and, you. Thank and, you very much. Uh, it has been a hoot. I'm going to tell you this right now. From the music and to the fellowship and worship yes. it is so much to be here lorraine uh every time that i i do a uh, broadcast inside the church now i always ask somebody to close us in prayer do you mind closing us in prayer no i do not mind lord thank you for this opportunity today and lord i just pray that you would take this program and that you would use it for your glory let it be heard lord by those that need a special touch God, we just thank you for Chuck and what he's doing. Lord, I pray that you would give him wisdom, Lord, for his networking, Lord, is just amazing to hear how you have just opened doors and creating this network for your glory. And, Lord, we're just thankful to be a small part of it today. And, Lord, I just pray that your will would be done in each one of us, God, that's sitting around this table in our ministries Lord, wherever we go, um, what we're doing for you, Lord, just be with us and help us and lead us and guide us. And, God, we just thank you for every blessing. Thank you for my husband that's here today that helps me so much in my ministry. And, Lord, we just, just thank you and give you all the glory. And I pray now as we're traveling to Brother Allen's tonight that you would just give us traveling mercies. And thank you for him and Miss Linda, for what they mean to us, God, and just bless them and their program. We love you, Jesus. Amen. 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 And y'all been watching the Chuck Bryant Show Unplugged, where we really get down and ask the really hard <laughs> questions. If you didn't notice over here, but Miss Wanda had a couple of water beads up on her head. She was sweating the <laughs> question it out. But, guys, we thank y'all so much for tuning in this afternoon. And uh, we got to put the studio back together. We had some hammers where we had to nail up a few things. And uh, to get the, the Carolina girls in here, and I mean taking two states to make it one great quartet, it's awesome. <laughs> I will tell you right now, it was awesome. Hey, you know what? If NQC, if you're watching, these girls are available coming in a few months so they'll love to sing at nqc <laughs> or maybe creekside rob if you're watching the program we, love to there you go hey i'm going to creekside I oh hey you could take the girls with you I there could. you yes. go doors yes. are opening up already guys to be here with the carolina producer, the bus driver and the equipment's manager 
and we give a shout out to him too. May God bless you until we see you again on the Chuck Bryant Show Unplugged, live from the Family Worship Center here in Cleveland, Tennessee.